and go to your heavenly building. When you get to heaven, you say, finally, I made it. Finally, I'm here. Yeah, and I, and, and, and
Good morning to the church. Praise the Lord, everybody. Good morning to the church. Good morning to the family. Amen. How many glad to be here? You here? Amen. Come on, let's clap your hands if you're glad to be here this morning. For if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, where would we be this morning? I don't know about you, but I thank God I'm here. I thank God I'm alive. Amen. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all.
Lift your voice and help me say he has done great you grow through, you got to bless him. Oh, and all that is Oh, oh, oh bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Good morning. I will bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. I will. Hey, Deshaun. Oh, I will. Oh, I will bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy. Bless his holy name. Because he's been so good. Can I get a witness? We ought to. Bless his holy. Lift your hand and say. Bless you, Bluey. Bless his holy name. Hey, Renee. Oh, bless him. Oh, bless his holy Let's bless the name of the Lord. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run in it, and we are saved. Anybody feel safe in Jesus? We cannot trust the world. We cannot trust family and loved ones and friends, but we can put our trust in Jesus. He promised never to leave us and never to forsake us. I put my trust in you. I put my faith in you. Lord, you always, can I get a witness? Lord, you always come through. You always go 
Love you, Brenda. I believe in you. I believe in you. Hey, Lord. I believe in you. Hey. Yes, sir. All right, mother. Come on, help me. Come on, boy. Hey, sis. Come on, come on. Good morning. Paula. I'm got a feeling everything is gonna be all right. Ah, got a feeling everything is gonna be all right. Oh, ah, I got a feeling everything can be all right. Oh, the Holy Ghost told me everything is going to be all right. Oh, the Holy Ghost told me everything is going to be all right. The Holy Ghost told me everything. Hey. Oh. And I believe it. You might have to cry, but it'll be all right. 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 Jesus said it. Yes, he did. And I believe it. Yes, I do. I'm going to trust him. I'm going to believe in him. He said uh, he'll never leave me. 
It'll be all right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, and it will be all right. It will be all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh. Come on, clap your hands. Hey, Jerry. 
Jersey. Lord, you always come through. And I believe, I believe in you. Oh, I believe in you. Oh, 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 I believe in you. Oh, 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 I believe in you. And I believe in you. And I believe in you. I don't feel no way time Come too far from where I started from Nobody told me the road would be easy And I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me I don't Feel no way time Come too far from where I started from Nobody told me the road would be easy And I Say I don't, don't believe he brought me this far I don't, come on Oh I don't no, I don't believe, I don't believe, he ain't going to leave me, 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 oh, I don't feel, come, Let the road and I I seen him do it and I know working out for me. Hey, Sandra. I seen him do it. Hey, Jersey. And I know it's working out for me. I seen him do it. And I know it's working out for me. The Bible says if you don't have no joy, you ought to leave. Anybody feel like leaving? 
Everybody leap. Woo. Everybody, everybody jump. You ought to jump. Anybody got the victory? Hey, sis. is up here.
everything. Oh, I got a feeling everything. I'll be all. Oh, the Holy Ghost told me that they gonna be all right. Holy Ghost told me everything's gonna be all right. Oh, the Holy Ghost told me everything gonna be all right. It'll be all. Come on and jump. Gonna be all right. It's 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 gonna be all right. You're all right. All right. Everybody, everybody jump. Ho! Oh. Everybody, everybody jump. You ain't jumping, Oliver. Everybody. Everybody. Come on, Jersey. God can do anything. God can do anything. God can do anything but fail. He can heal. He can save. It's according to his will. God can do anything but fail. God can do anything. God anything. He can save, he can heal, it's according to your will. I can do anything but fail. What's up, Womack? I need you on the base. God can do anything, anything, anything. God can do anything but fail. He can save, he can heal. It's according to his will. God can do anything but fail. I just need you to say this. He can do it. Come on. He can do it. God can do it. He can do it. He can heal. He can save. He can do it. Hey, little Nehemiah. He can do it. He can do it. Good morning, Namaya.
Hey, Dickie Green. Hey, Jen. Jump! Trevor, jump! Jump! Come on, you can say that. I seen him do it, and I know it's working out for me. Now you jump. say that. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lift your hands and your voice. Thank you, Lord. Oh, 
thank you, Lord. Come on, clap your hand and tell him thank you. Come on and tell him thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Everything have been going our way, but we ought to be able to say, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You brought us out. You made a way. You protected us. And Lord, we want to thank you. Lord, we got to thank you. Tell them thank you. Cause it could have been me outdoors with no food or no calls all along without a friend or a tragic number. Just a tragic number, but you didn't see fit. You, that's where you're supposed to get happy at. But you didn't see fit. I said you didn't see fit to let none of these things be. To let none of these things be. To let none of these things be. But every day, every day, by your power, you keep on blessing me. I want to say thank you, Lord, for all. Y'all ain't going to help me. For all you've done for me. Oh, yeah. Thank you for all you've done for me. Thank you for all you've done for me. Thank you for all you've done for us, Jesus. Thank you for all you've done for Jesus. Somebody ought to tell him thank you. You ought to wave your hand. Oh, Lord. And tell him thank you. Because he's been good. Can I get a witness? He's been so, so good. He's been so, so good. Thank you, Lord, for all you've done. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. You've been good to me, Lord.
Give him praise. Lord, just lift your hand and say, Lord, all I'm asking you this morning, just remember me. Remember my household, God. And give us that peace that surpass all understanding. You can work it out. And I know you will. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your tender mercies. Thank you, God. Truly is an honor and a privilege this morning again. I really and truly, this man don't need no introduction. Every time you step into the house and you see him, he always saying in it, what I'm going to preach. And I continue while I say, brother, you are so marinated that you can just go to the store, buy the meat and throw it in the oven and it's going to have flavor. Come on, somebody. Come on. That's the anointing. It's not, it's, it's not theology. Come on. It's neology. Come on, somebody. The anointing is neology. Theology, Reverend Moore and Minister Jordan, is good. But neology is revelation. He revealing to you something that you can't see in theology. Come on, somebody. And we thank God that we have a theology preacher in Macedonia Baptist Church. Anointed and appointed. Come on, somebody. For the preach word of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our brother. Our friend. Our spiritual advisor. Our leader. In the person of Reverend Evan. Dean Gray Senior. A boy preacher. From 13. Come on somebody. Preaching the gospel. For over 30 something years. Come on somebody. If we continually to lift up each other. One day we will reach there too. Come on. So let us receive our pastor. Stand on your feet. And let's continually to lift him up. Because we don't want his hand to fall. We are going to hold his hands up through thick and thin. And I know I'm going to do something different this morning. Because this is where the spirit lead me to. I need, before pastor come, I need everybody to stand in the center oil. Everybody. And the reason why I'm doing this, I'm not doing this because nobody, the spirit just dropped this in my, download in my spirit. I need every household who can to give a sacrificial sacrifice. I don't know what you can. He said it's not what you give. It's the spirit in which you give it. I don't need no basket. I need you to drop it right on the floor. Because when you put your seed into good ground, you're going to grain a good harvest. Don't follow me. I'm going to start there for $150. I don't, if you can't do it, don't do it. Do the best you can. Because God knows who you are. Drop it right there on the floor, right beside that basket. Because there is something about when you drop the seed on the ground, it don't bring forth a tree. It will bring forth a forest. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. You got to believe this for yourself. Come on. Drop it right there. Drop it right there. Drop it right there. Come on, come on, come on again. Come on, come on. I want everybody. Even if you got a penny, come on. Drop it right there. Drop it right there. And you're going to preach over that seed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And that seed, it's going to be multiplied. Because Father said, I will do the watering. And I will do the increasing. And I will bring it to harvest at the appointed time. Father, I'm taking you by your word. Because your word is what we can stand on. We can't stand on man's word. But we're going to stand on your word. That our seed, it's going to bless abundantly. In Jesus' name. Come on. If you don't get up, get up out of your seat. If you don't have a dollar, ask somebody for a dollar. Come on, don't be afraid. Because this is a move. This is a move for all of us. Everybody is about to reap a harvest in the name of Jesus. Your children coming home. Your grandchildren coming home. Come on, somebody. Your harvest is going to be greater in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In Jesus
Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Let the church say amen. amen. Say amen again. Please, please, we thank God for each and every one. You may have your seats to Reverend Hilton, uh, Reverend Moore, Minister Jordan, and Ferguson. God bless you, my brother, who's here with us today. God bless you. Uh, to our deacon in training, uh, Moore, who just celebrated a birthday. Amen. Just recently. Amen. We thank God for it. We also uh, want to say happy birthday to Naya, the daughter of uh, uh, Reverend Hilton, a man who celebrated a birthday that the doctor said she would never see. Lord have mercy. Do y'all hear what I said? The doctor said, and I ain't talking about what I heard. I was right there in the hospital. When the doctor took him aside, I'm standing right there and Sister Lisa Hilton while Naya laid in the hospital and the doctor said, make preparations. Lord have mercy. Can I tell you, we made preparations. He prepared himself to lay prostrate before the Lord and stayed that way till God moved. You can't tell me prayer don't work. Amen, somebody. We know not only the words of prayer, but the worth of prayer and the power of prayer. I wish I had a witness in here. I'm not going to hold you long. I just a couple of things that I need to uh, make mention. At 2 o'clock today, 2 o'clock today, right here at the church, and those who are watching us virtually, I understand some are having problems with the volume. We hope, we hope that you're able to hear at this time. Um, we, are, we will be giving away, giving away uh, uh, Christmas toys, gift for kids at 2 o'clock today. And this is being done uh, in conjunction with our assemblymen. Uh, Cahill Anderson, he will be here, and it's uh, one of the unions have supplied the toys, and we want to give uh, these toys away to the community from 2 to 4 today here at the church. Uh, you are more than welcome to come. Bring your children and come and receive a gift, a man. And that will start at 2 o'clock today here at the church. A community toy giveaway, a Christmas giveaway for the children. Amen. Uh, uh, please, for the children. Amen. You might be a kid at heart, but if your birth certificate say something else, it ain't for you. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Also, this week, Tuesday and Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken, Tuesday and Wednesday, starting at what time, Tanya? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, Tuesday and Wednesday, we will be giving out warm meals. Amen. Warm meals. And also today, we do have some boxes downstairs of, of uh, canned goods. You are more than welcome to take home a box today. Uh, and we will be also giving those out on Tuesday and Wednesday as well at 10 a.m. Listen, you have to understand the church ought to be more than coming in here on Sunday morning feeling good. Your job is to help the people in your community. If you cannot help the people in your community, then what good are you? If we look at the life of Jesus, Jesus' ministry was not in the synagogue, but outside the synagogue. Do I have a witness in here? It's about helping people. Amen, somebody. That's what this is about, helping individuals who are less fortunate than you. We can't rely on the government. We see what they're doing. Amen, somebody. Everything is being held up because McConnell wants to get in the bill, amen, 
and and for companies not to be liable held liable for their workers should they happen to work in adverse conditions and be put in danger of getting corona hello do, do y'all understand what I'm saying so in other words he want to protect those so you cannot sue them do you hear what I'm saying you can't sue them if they're going to tell you, okay, you got to go work over there and they ain't providing you with PPE. Hello? Why are we protecting big corporations and the people of our community are suffering? Something needs to be done. So we want to pray for our government and we as churches, as believers, we need to do all that we can to help those who stand in need. Listen, you might be doing all right today, but nobody knows what tomorrow will bring. Do I have a witness in here? And so therefore, we want to be a blessing uh, to those who stand in need. Also, let me just say this to you. I want to say it publicly. I want to say it to those who are watching us virtually. Uh, I have received and taken the vaccine. All right, so I have received and taken the shot for the vaccine. Now, the side effects, let me say right now what I went through. I went through a sore arm and that was it. All right, now I'm saying this, I am encouraging my community to please consider doing so because we are dying in massive numbers in our community. And somebody said, well, I, don't, I, don't, I, ain't, I ain't gonna let, I ain't taking that thing. I don't know what it is. Listen, we do know, we do know Corona kills. We do see that. Amen, somebody? And I ain't heard nobody yet died from the vaccine. Amen. Ain't heard nobody yet. Ain't heard nobody get sick. Ain't heard nothing. So please, please take this under consideration. I urge you, I encourage you to go and when the vaccine is made available to you, to go ahead and get it. If you want to wait a while, wait a while, that's fine. Pray while you're waiting. But when it comes available to you, take advantage of the opportunity because if we ever plan to get back to being normal, folks going to have to get the vaccine. Amen. If not, then don't complain when they shut everything down because we want to stop the spread. This is a method to help us deal with this coronavirus. Amen. I know y'all looking at me like crazy. Look, you see, I ain't got no third arm. I ain't got... <laughs> My head ain't spinning around. <laughs> All right, I'm okay. Amen. I'm okay. Amen. Those who have your Bibles, and let me also say, uh, we will do a Christmas message virtually. Uh, virtually, we're not going to have in-house service. We'll do it virtually, and you can watch it on the church's page. All right. Now, I also want to say for our watch night, there will be two services at 7 p.m. for our seniors only. Seniors only. Amen. Sen say, it, say it with me. Seniors only. Okay. So if you ain't been letting anybody know that you are senior, then don't come that standing and say, well, I'm a senior. That's why, listen, don't surprise us. We want, you know I want to keep my seniors separate from everybody else because they're more vulnerable than everybody else. So we want to keep them safe. They're going to have their worship service at 7 p.m. on watch night. And then at 1030, 
will be the watch night service for everybody else. All right. Our seniors will be at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. on watch night on the 31st. Amen. That's uh, a, a week from this Thursday. Am I right? The week from this Thursday, the 31st at 7 p.m. and 10 30 okay 7 p.m and 10 30 all right those who have your bibles not going to hold you long briefly from the book of luke chapter number two luke chapter number two luke chapter two luke chapter Two. I'm going to read from verse number 10, Luke chapter 2, verse 10. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. I want to talk from this thought. Good news in bad times. Good news in bad times times. Shall we pray? Merciful God, our Father, we come now to ask you for your aid and assistance. We ask you for your guidance and your direction. Lord, speak a word in this place. Draw that which is in darkness to the marvelous light. Give understanding of your word. Lord, allow one to come saying, I yield, I yield. What must I do to be saved? Lord, we want to hear from you. We're not interested in man's opinion or persuasion. Speak to us in Jesus' name. Amen. Good news in bad times. My brothers and sisters, none of us are exempt uh, from being in and involved and experiencing bad times. It does not matter whether you are in church, near the church, outside the church, walking by the church, all of us at some point in time will have to deal with some bad times. It, it doesn't matter that you're saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, fire baptized, speaking in tongues, known and unknown. Hello, somebody. Every one of us will experience some bad times. It doesn't matter whether you're a choir member, a usher, a missionary, a deacon, a preacher, or just a pew member. Every one of us at some point in time will encounter some bad times. 
Matter of fact, there, there may be times where you feel isolated and all by yourself. Where you might even feel that there is no possibility of you making it out of that moment of bad time, whether it be a moment of bereavement or a moment of depression or whatever the situation may occur, there will come a time where things around you will not look nor feel good. I wish I had a witness in here. Uh, we can look at Job's uh, biography and understand with Job, who was a good and righteous man, had to deal with some bad times in his life. He was a man that loved God, a man that worshipped God. Not only him, but he had taught it to his children and his family. He took it from being a personal worship with God to making it a corporate worship with God with him and his family that they all worship God together not just on one day a week but every day Job made it his business to be in worship and to be grateful unto God for what God had done for him and his family. He gave God his just praise and his reverence and yet Job had to deal with bad But the Bible says in all that Job went through, he cursed God not. <laughs> Hello, somebody. But Job declared the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. But blessed, in other words, good is the name of the Lord. Here in this book of Luke, this second chapter of Luke, the world, the earth, had been in some bad times. I wish I had a witness in here. Uh, from this moment, there had been many prophecies as it results to the Messiah coming. But there was a period that heaven had cut off communication, hello somebody, with humanity. Amen, somebody. It is known to be, as others historians would say, the dark ages. Lord have mercy. Heaven had made no announcements. Heaven had made no proclamations. There were no talking to the prophets of, of anymore. The Old Testament had shut down and there was a period that nothing was said from heaven and it was bad times. There were things that were happening. Paganism was on the rise. I wish I had a witness in here. Evil had seemed to take in root in the earth. The devil seemed to be running wild. Hello somebody don't it sound like right now when we look outside right now and see what we are experiencing what we are going through crime is on the upswing. Hello somebody a pandemic has crippled the world. Hello somebody death is everywhere beneath every flower bed hanging around every corner. It just seems if it ain't one thing it's another and it just seems like things are getting worse no matter how much you pray things are getting worse and not getting better church folk don't sing as good as they used to sing church folk ain't praying like they used to pray. Preachers aren't preaching like they used to preach. We are experiencing some bad times. 
our country is under attack, not just from the outside, but from within. The family structure has broken down. Lord have mercy. Families don't get together like they used to. Matter of fact, in the midst of this pandemic, the government is saying if they don't live in your house, don't you let them come in. Do I have a witness in here? We are in bad times. Oh, my brothers and sisters, who would have ever thought that there would be a time and a period when you had to limit the number of people coming in to worship. Who would have ever thought in a day and time that, listen, you can't even get together as friends for fellowship and worship. Who would have ever thought that if you go from one state to another, you're putting your life in jeopardy. Who would have ever thought uh, that we couldn't even send our babies to school uh, and they had to sit at home uh, and sit in front of a computer? Who would have ever thought uh, that the ICUs and the CCUs uh, would be overflowing? Uh, the emergency rooms uh, would be overpacked. Uh, our hospitals uh, would be overrun. Uh, who who would have ever thought uh, that there would be more people on the unemployment line uh, than those who are employed? Uh, who would have ever thought uh, that we would be in a situation like this? We are in some bad times. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, we are in some bad times. Look at us right now. We got family members we can't even see. We got family members we can't even hug. Do I have a witness in here? We got family members in convalescent homes that all we can do is pull up in a parking lot and have them come to the window and we wave to them. Who would have ever thought we are in some bad times. Well, my brothers and my sisters, this ain't the first time that uh, the people of God has been in bad times. Uh, the children of Israel were under persecution in bad times. Times. They were held under bondage in Egypt in some bad times. But I come to tell you, understand that it is in the bad times that God shows up and shows out. It is in the times of of despair that you will see that the Lord will make a way out of no way. It is in these moments of grief that the Lord will show up and give you joy. Well, look at here, my brothers and my sisters, that as the prophets had prophesied so many years ago, and there was silence from heaven, that they were, they were prophesied that unto us a child would be born and the government should be upon his shoulders. His name should be called Wonderful Counselor, the Almighty God, the Prince of peace. Yes! 
they prophesied about this child, this babe. I wish I had a witness in here. But now the world had slipped into darkness because there was no, y'all don't hear me, there was no, there was no news, there was no word from heaven. There were no prophets that was prophesying. There was nobody speaking. Y'all don't hear me, but here in this second chapter, all that silence came to an end, even though they were in the midst of what was called the dark ages. Y'all don't hear me. I'm glad they said dark ages because in the midst of darkness, there comes the light. Do I have a witness in here? Look at here. There are shepherds abiding in the field. Y'all don't hear me. The, the government, Caesar, y'all don't hear me, had made it hard on the people. Y'all don't hear me. The ruler, Trump, I'm sorry, had made it difficult for the residents of the people of the nation. Y'all don't hear me. The leaders were more interested in their position and maintaining power and exerting power over the helpless. Y'all don't hear me. They were more concerned about controlling the people of the city. Y'all don't hear me, but wait a minute. I know it seemed bad, but I got some good news. While the shepherd were abiding in the field, the Bible says the angels said unto them, Fear not. In other words, don't be scared. I got some good news news for you that which the prophet had prophesied over 400 years ago y'all don't hear me that a messiah would be born what you've been waiting for has now been delivered he told them over in the city of David there You'll find wrapped in swaddling clothes a child in a manger. Y'all don't hear me. A savior is here. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear what the scripture said, which shall bring great joy to all people. He'll bring joy to the white man. He'll bring joy to the black man. He'll bring joy to the Asian man. He'll bring joy to the Hispanic man. He'll bring joy to everybody across the world. Over in that city, a child is born. Christ the Lord. And I stop by to tell you, I know it's bad. You might not have a job. Your rent may be past due. Trouble everywhere. Sickness in your body. Corona 19 all over. But I stop by to let you know it might be bad times. But I got some good news. There's a 
Savior that sit high and look low. There's a Savior that is born, that is born and was born for you and for me. Ain't he all right? Say yeah. Good news. In bad times. Good news. In bad times. I don't care how dark and how low the clouds hang in your life. That doesn't mean that the sun isn't shining. Hello, somebody. What you may be experiencing may be some bad situations and condition. But I got some good news for you. Trouble don't last always. David went through some bad times that he had to walk through the valley of the shadows of death. But the only way that he was able to make it because he realized he wasn't going through it by himself. He said, thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff comfort me. Amen, somebody. Listen, all of us will have to deal with bad times. But what I want to say to you right now, in the midst of your bad time, is not the time for you to hold your head down. Lord have mercy. But I dare you to look to the hills for what's cometh your help. Know that all your help cometh from the Lord. Let me say this to you. Let me say this to you. As we are in preparation to celebrate this season, I always tell you, it's not about what's underneath the tree. What's important is who died on the tree. I wish I had a witness in here. Huh. Amen, somebody. Don't allow your pocketbook, your credit card, your wallet to dictate to you how to celebrate the season. Because if your seat, if this season is predicated on what you have brought, hello somebody then that is to say, if you can't buy anything, it's not a good season for you. I wish I had a witness in here. What the deal is, it is, it is, it isn't about gifts. It's about the gift that was given to humanity. And that is that babe that was born. I wish I had a witness in here. A lot of people sink into depression around this time because one, they feel inadequate because they cannot do what they really may want to do for somebody. Amen, somebody. And then there are others who, who, who are in the position where they see everybody else receive things and, and then there's nobody to give unto them. I want you to know something that you receive the best gift that you can receive. If you have breath in your body, I wish somebody would tell you, it, it, it don't get no better than that. Hello, somebody. 
Amen. It don't get no better than that. Be grateful for what you have. It may not be as much as others, and it may not be as little as some other folk. But whatever it is, just say, Lord, I thank you. Amen, somebody. Because you know the saying is from the crib to the hearse. It always could be worse. Amen, somebody. If God has blessed you just to open your eyes, you ought to give God thanks. Do I have a witness in here? Do I have a witness in here? Amen. We are indeed grateful to God that even in the midst of bad times, we got some good news. Hello, somebody. Amen, somebody. There's still some good news. God is still in the blessing business. God is still in the healing business. God is still in the delivering business. Amen, somebody. God is still in the protecting business. Good news in bad times. Not only that, but understand something. In your life right now, if you don't have a savior, there's some good news. That he paid a price that you could not pay for yourself. He died that you might live and have life more abundantly. Now let me just correct you quickly. Fear life more abundantly. We equate that with materialistic things. Oh, I'm supposed to have abundant living. I'm supposed to have this. I'm supposed to have that. The abundant living is not here. Hello, somebody. But be, if you accept him as your Lord and Savior, hello, somebody. You have the opportunity to walk on streets paved with gold. I wish somebody would talk to me. Amen, somebody. Amen. You can be in a city where the sun will, will never go down. Hello, somebody. You can be in a place where there's no more sickness, no more sorrow, no more saying goodbye. That's abundant living. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Let's not get anything twisted. God cares for you. Amen, somebody. And God will take care of you. He promised never to leave you nor forsake you. And I'm going to tell you right now, there's nothing wrong in having nice things. The problem is, is when those nice things have you. Oh, you ain't in here. You ain't in here. Amen. 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 If everything in your life is geared to you acquiring things, hello somebody, then you'll miss the point. Because you know what? I tell you all the time, there are no U-Hauls hooked up to hearses. Somebody gonna catch that. Somebody gonna catch that. There are no U-Hauls Hooked up to hearses. You didn't bring nothing in here. And you can't take nothing out. Job said naked I came into this world. Naked I'm going to leave it. So what I'm saying to you. Whatever you have. Acquired while you were here. When you gone somebody going to enjoy it better than you. Because they didn't pay for it. Hello somebody. So what I'm saying to you, it is not about what you acquire here. It's what you have in here. Do you have Christ in your life? Do you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Amen. And you know what? A lot of times you know how folks talk about, oh, when I get, when I get myself together, I'm going to come to church. 
I'm going to get myself together. I'm going to come to church. As soon as I, as soon as I, it's going to happen. One day, I'm going to get myself together, and I'm going to come to church. The truth of the matter is, and I say it all the time, if you could get yourself together, you would have got yourself together a long time ago. The reality is none of us can. And here's the beauty of it. He don't ask us to. He says, come just as you are. God knows who you are. He know who you are. He know who you're not. Amen, somebody. And he says, come on anyway. Because the Lord will work on you. Then he'll work in you. Then he'll work through you. Hello, somebody. Amen. But it's, it's, you ain't got to worry about, you know, I, I, need to, I need to take care of this. And listen, it ain't the preacher job to get you right. I'm trying to get myself right. Hello, somebody. That's for God to work on you. Everybody progress at, at the pace that God sets for us. Where he is in his faith is not where Deacon Moore is in his faith. All of us are at different levels. But that don't make any of us less than anybody else. Amen, somebody. You know, when the Lord saved some of us, he had to reach way down. Hello, somebody. Some of us were in some real dark places. I wish I had a witness in here. But here's the thing. God thought enough of us. Jesus thought enough of us. No matter how far down we was, we wasn't beyond his reach. That's how much he loved each and every one of us. Amen. And God can use you. It don't listen. You, you ain't got to be able to preach like Paul or or or, or sing, sing like 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 angels. All you have to do is be willing and available for the Lord to use you. That's all. Shall we stand while we extend the invitation? If there's one, we invite you to come. To accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your poor. We, we uh, want to send the invitation to you to come. To accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal savior. If there's one. If there's one. You can come whether it be here in the sanctuary or those who are watching us virtually, those who are, are, are watching us, you can leave your name or your information in the comments and we will get back to you. But we want you to know that Jesus accepts you just the way you are. Amen. The church can't change you. It ain't the church's job. Preacher can't change you. It's not the preacher's job. Only he can change you. All you got to do is come. Is there one? Is there one? Is there one? Those who are watching us virtually, you can leave your information. And he will guide you and direct you to a place of worship that might be closer to you. It's not about, it's not about where you go to worship. It's about who you are worshiping. God bless you. You may have your seat. <clears throat> Amen. A couple of things. And after the offering, we will have a baby dedication. Amen. Matter of fact, I'm going to do the baby dedication uh, uh, right now. I just want to say to our virtual uh, worshipers, again, we want to say to you, God bless you. We thank you for being a part of our worship this morning. Again, we invite you to come uh, to the uh, to the giveaway, the toy giveaway starting at 2 o'clock with our assemblyman, uh, um, Cahill Anderson. 
uh, he will be here, and we thank God for him and the work that he's doing. Pray for him. Also, let us pray for our new uh, borough president, amen, our new borough president, our, our friend, our brother, Donovan Richards. Uh, he is our new borough president, the first African-American man to serve in such office for the borough of Queens. So we want to keep him and lift him up in prayer as well, as well as our uh, congressman, who is the first African-American to serve as the chairman of, what is it, Foreign Affairs? What? Foreign Affairs. Amen. He is the first African American to serve as the chairman of Foreign Affairs of Congress. And so we want to keep him in prayer. Of course, our state assembly, our state senator, uh, none other than James Sanders Jr., keep him in our prayers. All of our elected officials, we want to keep them in prayer. Again, don't forget Tuesday and Wednesday at 10 a.m. We will be giving out hot meals as well. You can come out and get your hot meal on Tuesday and Wednesday uh, here at the church as well. Uh, I was just informed uh, today, today, is it today or, or was it yesterday or tomorrow, or I'm going to say it's today, is Evangelist Julie Hazel's birthday. It's tomorrow? It's when? It was fr same day as Dave? Oh, wow. Amen. That's, that's another reason why you don't need to be a cowboy fan. Amen, somebody. Amen. Evangelist had a birthday, so you know what? We got to send her some flowers. Let's do something really nice for Evangelist. Amen. Uh, uh, please, sis, let us know what evangelists need so we can get it and bless her for her birthday. Thank God. Put it up on our Facebook page. Uh, now, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I ain't going to say exactly how old she is uh, uh, because uh, she would probably beat my behind. So, um, but evangelist is up there. She is, uh, there's two individuals I know to be the oldest individuals in our church, and that would be Mother Mary Smart and Evangelist Hazel. They are right there together. One is older than the other, I think, by a year, but they are up there. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I hope to make it there. <laughs> Amen, somebody. And so uh, they so pray for them. We thank God for them. Uh, also, while I'm, let me, uh, Pastor and Sister Ricks, uh, uh, the pastor in Georgia, who is the pastor of Sister, uh, their pastor, he contracted the coronavirus. Uh, so pray for him and his wife. Deacon Johnson also. Uh, attract, contracted the coronavirus. He was in the hospital, but thank be to God, yesterday he came home. So we want to pray for him and Sister Johnson. All right. Um, um, guess not. Now you can. Amen. So we want to keep them in prayer as well. Thank you so much my brothers and sisters. Those who are watching us virtually, we thank you. May God bless you. We pray that you will be a part of the giving ministry of the church and uh, there on the on the screen you will see the ways to give whether it's Cash App or whether it's Give La Fly or whether you want to just mail to the church and do so. Thank God for generosity in giving and remember it is not what you give. It's the spirit in which you give it. Amen, somebody. You can give a dollar from your heart is more than the person who give a thousand dollars just to be seen. That's right. That's Amen, somebody. That's Amen. That's right. Amen. So it's about your heart. Amen. God is not concerned about your pocketbook, your wallet, or your purse. God is concerned about your heart. 
Amen, somebody. There are many that don't have the means but have the desire. And we pray for them that God will cover them and keep them and to continue to supply to them that which they need. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Some, sometimes you can't give a dollar, but you might be able to give a loaf of bread. Are y'all in here? Yes. Amen, somebody. Sometimes we don't have, have an offering does not necessarily have to be monetary. Come on, Amen. Come on. We're giving out food. We got back. I don't, I, don't, I don't have a monetary gift, but I can provide service. Hello, somebody, to help somebody else. Do I have a witness in here? Amen. Again, let me also just say to you, before you leave today, go downstairs, get you one of the, bo the boxes downstairs, the canned goods, take it home. Maybe if you don't need it, you know somebody who do.